everything. Then a market crash, boom. And the real estate funded all of those businesses until they were able to stand on their feet. The car wash was fairly new. The salon had already had run, and that was like easy money. Transportation company was the most profitable business off the ground, and I was still doing flips, making money from that. But it was no rental income. You're listening to Flip Empire, the show committed to helping real estate entrepreneurs who want to build their empire without sacrificing their life. Your success and freedom starts now with your host, Alex Pardo. I'm fascinated by your story on so many different levels. I love the fact that, you know, you you talk about how early on you were chasing money and uh, and maybe your focus wasn't on on you know what ultimately really matters and you had what was the what was the pivot or mindset shift for you there was it the crash that said hey i need to kind of approach things a little bit different here i'm curious what was the trigger for you to start to kind of go down a different path as far as how you approach business and and earning wealth while still being the father and just being you know family man and all that yeah for me i think it was um real estate really carried a lot of this stuff at the time i was i was all over the place i was spread to it then i had four different businesses if i can remember i had a car wash i had a 25 van uh transportation company to do transportation for disabled children i had a hair salon a 25 chair hair salon where i was renting the chairs on a weekly basis you're kidding uh, and, yeah all at the same time and i was doing real estate so we had like 54 employees and all and every time me and my former wife went out to dinner, we it would be business. It would be business. It was, so we kind of grew apart because of mm -hmm. all the businesses and everything. Then a market crash, boom. And the real estate funded all of those businesses until they were able to stand on their feet. The car wash was fairly new. The salon had already had running. That was like easy money. Transportation company was the most profitable business off the ground. And I was still doing flips, making money from that. But it was no rental income. So when the market crashed and I had like 30 some properties, and no banks were funding. A lot of them were in different phases of construction. I had private money back then, but it, it wasn't a fun. It was, hey, you know, loan me money um, and I'll put up the 20% to close and the construction money. I just need you to loan me 80% of the purchase price. So I had private investors doing that. So I had skin in the game as well. When the market closed, I had, you know, a couple million dollars of my money tied up into these projects, these 30 different projects. And it was just, it was major. You know, you can't have closings. Things are falling apart. Relationships I had with brokers overnight, they shut down uh, and it was just a ripple effect. So me dealing with that reality and then knowing that this real estate business was feeding other businesses, uh -huh. you know, it kind of put a strain on my business maybe six months later. Um, and basically I started going through marital issues because of finances and everything else. And yeah, I had to make some tough decisions and ultimately ended up with divorce and basically me liquidating all of the properties to make my investors whole. Um, thank God I didn't have to file bankruptcy. I lost a couple million dollars of my money that I had tied in because I had to fire sell everything. The market went down so low. Yeah. Um, it was just crazy. So it took me, you know, about a year and a half, two years to get out of that and to resurface. And during that transition, you know, I actually was blessed to get custody of my boys because I didn't want, you know, another man to pass any values or raise their my boys with a different religion or whatever it was that mm -hmm. They were going to do because my former wife had found someone else back then um a regular nine to five person who you know wasn't trying to conquer the world less stress so um, i was happy for them and i just wanted to cuss my boys which really made me go closer closer to them and be the father who i am today and maybe yeah. more of a man a better businessman everything else understand because of, of ra raising capital and running a fund is just like raising kids so you can imagine all the challenges, the goods, the bads, and the uglies that go along with raising your kids is the same thing as a fund manager. That's how quirkily it goes too. So yeah, I think it was definitely the market that was the shift. And then I really, during that time, I really started doing more inner growth, right? Started to yeah. read more. Um, I wasn't a part of any RIAs or anything. You know, I was a millionaire when I was 28 years old. So to me, at the time, I thought I was God. Like, no, nobody can tell me anything. Mm -hmm. I had all the cars, traveled to Europe, all of the stupid materialistic stuff so you know and um ego really big and the market really really made me put my ego in my back pocket and sit on it and really start to do more inner work all right my friend i hope you enjoyed that flip empire episode and got a lot of value out of it make sure to check the show notes page for any resources that were mentioned and speaking of resources honestly i don't think i've done the best job of sharing with you my top curated highly recommended 
tools and resources that I use in my business or have used in my business. In some cases, these are affiliate relationships with people that I highly trust and respect. And I know these tools and resources can help you and your business go to the next level. And as an ethical bribe, if you decide to uh, try out one of these resources using my link, I will go ahead and send you an unadvertised bonus. I'll send you something of high value. All you got to do is shoot me an email, alex at flipempire.com. Go ahead and let me know that you, uh, that, that you tried out this resource and uh, however I can help you getting started with that. Chances are that I know it very, very well and currently use it or have used it. So make sure to check that out, flipempire.com forward slash resources. And if I can be of help or service to you in any way, just shoot me an email, alex at flipempire.com and I will do anything I can for you. Have an amazing day and I'll catch you on the next show.